my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. Yeah. I, I, that's not even what I was looking for. Yeah, Romans 9 and 13. I was thinking, but that's all. Because you know the Lord came to save Israel, right? Yes. Here you go. That's the Lord's people of Israel. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the Lord said he hates Esau. He needs the Lord. You said the Lord don't hate nobody. Who's Esau? Esau is Jacob's brother. Yeah. Who's Esau today? What? Who's he today? Dead. 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 Esau controls the whole damn planet. Hey, get uh, Ezra's, uh, second Ezra. Uh, you know what I want, 6 9. Because that's why when, e when Esau came out, when Jacob and Esau were born, how were they born? Who came out first? Esau came out first. And, and Jacob, Jacob came out holding his heel. Do you know what that symbolizes? Nope. Esau came out first because he was going to rule first. But Jacob came out holding his heel because this is this is Esau's kingdom. Because Esau symbolizes where Esau is, the children of Satan. They represent everything that is wicked and evil. Okay, so this, they had the same spirit in Esau as the spirit that was in Cain. Okay. Okay. So you're saying Esau wasn't a Christian? Hell no. There's, he's what? In hell. Hell. Hell's a North God. He's goddess. controlling hell. He runs hell. There's Esau. There's no hell in the Bible. Okay, so you guys are saying that he, he hates Esau. Okay, so. Why isn't that a, why isn't that just a symbolizing that you hate Esau? In Revelation, do you think the whole Revelation was like word for word correct? Like everything is literal and it's not symbolized. There's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of symbolism. The part you're talking about right there, because the only the only part where I know that in the Bible it says like pay no attention to any people anymore or even like kind of close to hating them is like in one of Paul's letters when he talks. To He's telling them that if you try to convert them and multiple times they reject you, then you you they're nothing to you anymore. Right. Well they, es Esau rejects you every time. Every never fails. So so who is Esau in today's world? The so, the so called white people is on the planet. Not all white people are even like. Just like uh, you never know. Just like uh well I'm just I'm just bringing the scriptures out first. Uh, just like, you know, all black people are not the same race? Yeah. All white people are not the same race. Okay? Yes. You know, the so-called Jews control the planet. That's the chief house of Esau. And they teach in their synagogues that they are from the tribe of Amalek of the house of Esau. What Jews control the whole world? Well, you start with the Rothschilds. You know who the Rothschilds are? I do, yeah. They're devil worshipers. What do they do? They worship Satan. What do they do, though? What's their, what's their, what's their thing? What's their... Banking? Right. Banking. Oh, they charge everybody usury. The Bible says don't charge your brother usury. And they claim they're our brothers. Okay? Look they're the them. devil. Just because they do that doesn't mean they're the devil. They do lots of things. Who controls Hollywood? Okay. All right, so you, just because you're, you're not going by the Bible means that you're of the devil. Hey, give Revelation 2 and 9. Because I've heard you guys, like, do a lot of, just like, in my time talking to you, do stuff that's against what's in the Bible. How is that? You guys are cussing. Cussing? Yeah. What do you mean cussing? Cussing. What does that mean? That means using curse words. Curse words? I didn't throw up any curses on anybody. Not yet. The Bible says, we're, we're, the, the Paul said, uh, if any man brings another gospel, Galatians 1 8, he said, let them be a curse. Have you read that before? I can get it for you. Yeah, Let me read it for you. So you just talk to say what you're saying. You've been programmed to say repeat what you're saying over and over. You've been taught that pagan. Curse someone else say the shit. You repeat the same thing. You've been taught that pagan church. A doctrine. curse. A curse word. Now, uh, what man? What real man gonna be offended by something you're saying? A word that you're saying. Well, I got a scripture for you. Uh, well, in Matthew 23, the Lord said, "Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell?" There's two right. cuss words right there. Damn and hell. Damnation isn't a cuss. Oh, that's not. Oh, so. Oh, so. Do you have the list of words I'm allowed to say and not allowed to say? Well, I thought the, the Lord might have would have took care of that, but there's no laws on that. Okay. 613 laws, but... That ain't one of them. Listen to this. John 3 and 16. For God so... Uh, actually, I'm just going to skip down to John 3 and 18. 
Everybody knows John 3.16, no need to read that. But you see, the problem is people don't know how to read. They just read that, even though they have it memorized, they'll read John 3.16 and highlight it, like they will forget where it's at. Then they, keep, they don't keep reading. That's what keeps the false comfort here. Yeah. John 3 and 18. Now listen closely. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Now what is the word condemned? That means, con means with, and dim means it's the same thing as damn. Yeah. It means with damnation. Right. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So if God, if the Lord is condemning people, that means he loves them, right? Hey, he, he loves everyone. Oh, he loves yeah, everybody. he does. He loves everyone, but it's their own choice. It's free will. There's no free will. Uh, there's free will. How's there free will? You can do whatever you want. No, you can't. The they, Lord, you're a robot. I, if you can do, there's free will, right? I got a scripture for you. John 15 and uh, 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whosoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, or whatsoever, excuse me, whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. It's kind of dark out here. That, that, that but, just, but, but, but the Lord like said, his blessing upon them. No, he said, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. So there is no choice. Right, right, right. Right? Am I right or wrong? That, that's what it specifically says, but your interpretation Let me ask you another is, question. Do right. you know the story of the Exodus? I do, yeah. Okay, now Moses said, let my people go over and over again. And God hardened his heart. He hardened his heart. Yeah. So is that free will? The most high hardened his heart. And he gave he gave the Pharaoh no choice. He controlled the Pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what it specifically says in there. But in my interpretation, I just... See that as a system. See that free will thing? Well, my interpretation has just as good a value as your interpretation. I don't think no, so. Hell no. I don't think so. You really don't. We're prophets, first of all. Really are you a prophet? I can be if I want to. I mean, you told me. But you don't want to be. He told you if you were a prophet. <laughs> Paul? Okay. Paul said ye must prophesy. Okay. So we're prophesying. Okay. So if I'm prophesying, that makes me a prophet, right? What does it mean to be a prophet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I do. I'm a prophet. What does prophet mean? No, what does it mean? Yeah, what does it mean? I don't know. What? We so we're not prophets, yeah, right? Sir, get the wind. Sam, we're not. I'm not saying. Can I see that? I don't know where that comes from, where that's going. So with everyone, that's born of the spirit, man. Okay. What's up, homie? What's up? What was you about to get? Oh yeah, that, that, that cuts the free will right there. Yeah, because free will is an illusion. You think you have free will, but really, come on, the Most High is in control of everything. That's why he's called the Most High. You know what I'm saying? He, he's in control of everything. He has the power to control everything, but that doesn't necessarily mean he does. Just like we were talking about Esau earlier. The Lord created Esau to be the devil. All things that are mine. Esau didn't have any choice now, man. Just like when Esau was born, the Lord said before they were born that that elder should rule the younger. Uh, excuse me. Uh, that they, uh, yeah. But he said before Jacob and Esau were born, the Lord had already set it up and told you that Jacob was going to get the promise before they was even born. So Esau, when Esau sold his birthright, he had no choice in that because the Lord had already prophesied it. So he had, he, he thought he had that choice, but the Lord made Esau sell his birthright. The Lord, just because he prophesied it, that means that he knew it was going to happen. He knows that that was the decision, like the free will decision that he was going to make. But how is that free will the Lord already sure, predicted? He said it was going to happen. He did. Okay, he can see. see shit. I get it. If, the, if God's all powerful, then he knows your decision before you make it. But it's your decision still. <laughs> I, I, I got a question. What are you guys trying to prove by here? The truth. No, but like... Okay, I, I get I get you're trying to prove the truth, but what... We're out here to convert. 
What does the word convert mean? It means to change someone's ways. It means with. How it means with. Bert means truth. I got it, man. I got it. I'll go ahead. This is Job uh, 33 and uh, 14. For the Most High speaketh once, yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. Man perceiveth it not. Like I said, there's an illusion of free will. You can't perceive it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. The Lord seals your instruction. He programs you. You're a puppet on strings. He seals your instruction, so that means that you can program. he instructs you. Oh, God, you, you, you can break the instructions. No, you can't. And you're doing right now exactly what the Lord, the Lord programmed you to do. Okay. Same so why, did, why did he program me to do this? What? What? 